I really think that quote pertains to me. Engineers like to solve problems. If there are no problems handily available, they will create their own problems. And then someone revs their engine outside. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh yeah, we're here. And then that big base in the distance. I, I see it. I see it there. Well, we lost the little guy. Uh, I think I'll just go ahead and head back. I have a comment from Robert Bailey saying how to how to get this base. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up rocks, put them in the connector on a, on a, on a new ship. I don't want to risk this working ship. I'm going to fit a camera to the bottom of that one. I'm going to hover over the base and zoom in to see it. And then I'm going to eject rocks until I end up, uh, end up being able to hit it. And then I'm just going to drop the rest of the rocks on it. And then I'm hopefully just going to be able to drop them on that gun because I think that's my biggest problem. I think I can get in with this one and with a grinder and kind of just get the rest of it destroyed. But for now, we're going to use this to just to transport me over here. As, as it does, it transports and builds. It has the bobs, so if I can get rid of the power on that base, I think I can use the bobs to grind the whole thing down. So, actually, no, I might want to keep the base. I don't know. Let, we'll, we'll see about that. So let me go ahead and start building this ship. Not too sure how I want to go about it, though. Well, I know what it needs to have, so I should just plug in here with this connector using my backup camera. Let's go ahead. We, we're, we're, we're taking his plan and we're modifying it ever so slightly just so it can not result in this thing getting destroyed as well. Because it... Act oh, okay. Well, I hit the ground. I didn't know I was that close to the ground. Let me go backwards here. Hopefully I didn't destroy anything. And of course I hit something else. Come on, where's the thing? Wow, that is high up. How high up, How high is this off the ground? Eh, everything looks okay. I don't think it really broke anything. I think it just kind of upset it. Alright, easy scripts going to work and getting those batteries. You'll be excited tomorrow on uh, uh, another script that easy has that, that's... Uh, for the for the for the uh, for the doors for the doors on the base on the moon, it is very very nice. It is easy simple doors and it is remarkably simple. I just put it in the command block and the doors open. Oh, it was so exciting! Uh, <laughs> you'll get to see that. Uh, anyways, building this ship. I think I think I know what I want to do and I'm going to try to do it. Let me go ahead and copy this green because I like this green, and I'm going to go ahead and plop instead of that a rotor on the front. Let me grab my grinder. And let me also orient the rest of this, and it's going to build it when I don't have my tool out. Oh, I got it before I got there. No matter. I will put the rotor here. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and build this rotor. And then just place it there. And then on its rotor part, I'm going to place a... Let's cut all that out. Let's grab a medium cargo container. Well... Let's just do a connector. I mean, the connector can probably hold enough. If it can't, then I can just come back and do it again. Now, this doesn't. I don't want this to be so expensive that it's going to be an issue if I get shot out of the sky or something. So I'm just going to go ahead and build these few things. It's going to need a battery. Full-size battery is fine. Uh, it's going to need a remote control, a camera. It's going to need two cameras, actually. No. Uh, remote control, camera. Oh, my fuel's low. Let me not, yeah, let me not hover there and run out of fuel. Let's get that. Fuel, okay. So it's going to need a remote control camera. We have the connector. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'll just go and plop the connector on right here. Yeah, that looks somewhat feasible. I'm going to put the battery on top of the connector, and then I'm going to put the, the thrusters in places. How much do you think is probably going to need to be holding this connector? All right, the connector can hold a maximum of how many kilograms of material? Let's see here. Uh, let's just shove this thing full until it holds its... Well, actually, no, it need, it need to be an ore or stone or something. First of all, hydrogen bottle. Go to the... Somewhere on the other base, please. Oh, that's full. Um, I didn't know I have any full containers on this thing. Uh, where's the oxygen generator? There it is. More hydrogen, please. Thank you. I'll place it out there. And then we're just going to fill this connector with ice. And it's 3,113 kilograms. So let me look at the, the carrying of this. This is... Where is it? I, okay, so 131. Really? Oh, no, that's the connector. For the thruster, dude. What? How much can I hold with the thruster? Uh, now I'm still thinking... It's still looking at connectors. Please thrust... Okay, there we go. Uh, we have 648, so I think it was 1,300, so we just need two, maybe, maybe three. 
I'm gonna try to get away with two and see if that see if that works. All right, let's go with two. I'll kind of oppose them so I can do this. I can have one each direction, kind of, kind of looking nice, just in case I I am able to keep this. I would like to be able to keep it, but I'm doubting it's going to survive. Well, yeah, I think it will survive. I mean, what what is it, what would what would I be missing for it to to really survive? I'm just thinking I'm gonna fly over it and that big gun's just gonna go and you're gone and I'm gonna lose it and I'm gonna be upset. But I'm gonna make it really cheap so I can't get upset and it's rotating. It's rotating. I need to lock the rotor. Uh, rotor, please. The, this the rotor here. Lock, please. Thank you. I really hope it's locked. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> now we're gonna need some power cells. We're gonna need some metal grids. I will get all of these things queued up. I think it's already getting them queued up for me, but I will check. Uh, let's go. What, what was it? It was J. It was K. Nope, it was O. I? Nope. I clicked the button last time. How do I keep forgetting this? Ah, whatever. Edit text. Uh, we'll go for metal grids. I'm going to need at least six for this, because I'm going to need a thruster in each direction. Um, and power cells. I know those are somewhere. I'm shoving my face into the microphone again. Because I'm leaning up into the screen. I don't know why, but I'm leaning into the screen. Okay. So we have the power cells that we need. We're going to need a gyroscope to control things. A remote control. Let's get the remote control on here. In this orientation, I need interior plates. Interior plates. Really? I, not enough interior plates in storage? I guarantee you there's some. Yeah, yeah. I told you. I told you there was some. Okay. And then we're going to need a antenna. This thing's getting a little bit expensive. I probably don't want to lose it. And we're going to get... All right, so we have thrusters forward, backwards, up, down, left, and not right yet. So I'll put right on the other side. Uh, let's get right going. I cannot. Oh, I need steel plates. That's that's okay. Steel plates. There. Mm. <laughs> steel plates. There we go. For some reason, I didn't pick them up. All right, I'll put whatever I can have in there. Okay. So this is pretty much done, huh? Um, I can add some extra cargo containers to to beef up the connector. So let's go cargo containers, uh, small cargo containers, why not? And we'll just, nope, we'll, we need to orient them correctly and not, yep. I did, I, I, I for, forewent the, the grinder because I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna make a mistake. This, this is really basic. And then I ended up making a mistake. <laughs> See, you, you'll always make mistakes if you never think you're going to make them. And something that I do well is always think I'm gonna make mistakes because I always make mistakes. Okay, so let's go here. And nope, nope, and Oh gosh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I needed to rotate and this thing's like like just kind of tilted and it's just it's just like messing with my brain. Okay. So now we have extra storage barring that uh thing there. We have remote control. We need cameras. That's what I haven't put on here yet. Camera and caps locks on. Okay, camera. Let's orient it like this so I can fly this thing around and then I'll stick this on the bottom of the cargo container so I can see where I'm dropping things as suggested and I don't see anything else so I think I have I have forward thrust reverse thrust left thrust right thrust and ho hovering thrust so I think this thing is good to go um, I'm missing something oh battery <laughs> I need to be able to charge the thing uh, I have a rotor remote control wow okay this is this went really quick uh, power cells what are we what are we missing that we we could use to get better powers or to get power cells in general Production, you're not doing anything. Make 20 power cells. I thought I, I thought I set these on the screen, the screen of creation. I, I'm really sure it was something. I'm just looking to left click it though. Okay, that's solar cells. Did I, did I do solar cells instead of power cells? I might have, because it says cell. <laughs> that's the only thing. Uh, there doesn't appear to be a power cell in there yet, so I think we have to produce some. I think that okay, that's what I'm doing. We have to produce some and then it will gather them. And that's why caps lock's on. So if I go into a menu, press caps lock, yeah, I can still walk around at normal speed. All right, and the battery is getting built up because I ordered all the power cells for it. After that, really, it's just I, if the Viper wasn't there, I'd plug it into the connector and, and get all the material out of it. But since the Viper is there, I'm just not going to do that. Um, I can fly this over there. I'm, I could also pack this with the ice, fly this over there and see if I can uh, drop on it while, while this is also over there. I could actually just fly them as like a clump. I could just fly them both over at the same time and then drop stuff. But kind of like the idea of this little thing going and doing it on its own. Uh, let's set its battery to recharge. Get it a nice full battery. Recharge just in case it's going to take a little while. And really that's it. It's it's built. It's there. 
uh, we'll leave it connected to the base so we can start filling it up. I think I can. I think I have to dump everything to get enough space to fill this up. So let's grab all the ice I can carry. This is gonna take a little bit. I really should have freed up the connector beforehand, but there's really no way I could free up that connector. Okay, and we fill all the small cargo containers. We're still not even sure if this is gonna hover. Uh, <laughs> and we're just hoping it's gonna hover. How about that? Fuel critical, really? Or fuel low? Sorry, I thought I, th I thought I read fuel critical. And there we go. And then I'm going to yank the ice from you. Why is it so muffled? That's why it's so muffled. Okay, I'm like, the world's muffled. And then it's hard for me to tell because I'm wearing my headphones. And I'm like, is the world muffled or is it just my headphones being in a weird position? Because sometimes it like folds in the ear and it's like a little uncomfortable, but I don't really mind. And I'm like, I'm not going to bother fixing it because I'm going to be correcting my headphones for an hour after I touch them once. So I'm just going to leave that be. Uh, we have almost full. Just one more trip it looks like. Yeah, all these, all these exciting running back and forth and filling things up. But you know what? This time it's going to be worth it. I'm going to drop the ice on the thing. It's going to get squished, or at least get non-functional, so I can fly over there and grind down the base. I still want to destroy the base. I just don't want it there. But I'm not sure how... how, Because if I leave it there... Well, what, what can I do if I leave it there? It's not over any materials. Well, is it over materials? I need an ore detector. Um... I'll put an ore detector on this thing. Let's find an ore detector here. All right, let's find a little bit of space for me to grab stuff. So let's grab these, that, and there's no steel plates in there. So some ore detector. If there's any ores by the base, then I'll be able to grab them. If the if the base has ores, I will I won't tear it down. If it doesn't, then it's getting torn down. Uh, let's just stick this over here. That looks like a good spot. I should really stick it on the bottom. Ah, too late. <laughs> it already got ground up. Okay, cool. Or welded up. Whoa, you're close, aren't you? Sheesh, little dude. Trying to hit me or something? <laughs> Giant space rocks. Or small space rocks that really should just be exploding in the sky. Um, I would really hope they would explode in the sky. Okay, so this, this really looks done. I'm really scared that if I detach this, though, it's going to go and then explode. I know this is like nothing's touching anything else, but... Clang is Clang is scaring me. Clang, if you can hear me, don't mess this up. Oh, and we're fine. Okay, this is good. All right, I'm gonna very I'm gonna come really low over here, so that I can. Um, oh yeah, we have silver and gold under this. I forgot. I'm gonna be right here, so that when I disconnect it, we see if it like wants to go all crazy. So we're gonna need to put the rotor on here. Where's that rotor at? Okay, we're going to go ahead and set it to detach, and then I'm going to have to very quickly shift K and press control. Okay, so detach, shift K, control. Oh, and it's already kind of stable, huh? Oh, well, that's because I'm not controlling it. Shift K, control. Control. Can I not control it? Am I controlling the wrong grid? Shift K. Oh, I have nothing. Oh, wait, okay. How about now? Control. That's this big one. Why is it not controlling the little guy? Please disconnect me. Thank you. And doesn't this does this have a remote control? Oh, it does have a remote control. Oh, it doesn't even have a camera though. That's useless. And oh, it's done that thing again where it always does that thing where it hates working. All right, grind down the antenna, build the antenna back, and if that doesn't work, I have to disconnect the, the antenna and reconnect the or not uh, disconnect. Turn it on, on and off again. Lovely, lovely basic troubleshooting. On, off, or off, on, and it works. Okay, so now if I shift K, I it's the closer one. Control, hey, there we go. All right, let's get, I think the first camera built was the forward, and this one should be down. All right, we have forward, and we have down. Oh, oh, this is, it's on. Okay, let's get the connector on here. Uh, let's go for throw out. And don't collect all, because I can use the small cargo containers on it to gather more materials. Please get me out of this menu. I tapped escape like three times, and I can hover for 30 minutes. So, really, it's not too much of an issue. So, let me go into camera two here and just put her down very gently. Just so I can build that other cargo container on here, and we can have even more stored stuff. All right. And it looks like we're on the floor. Z? Yeah, we're on the floor. Wonderful. Okay, so now it's going to last even longer. Uh, let's get this rotor off. I know it's the only way for this to charge, but really I could just stick a rotor on the end of the cargo container, which I will. And let's go ahead and put the small cargo container. Because the cargo containers were not a thought that I had originally to put on here. I'm like, eh, I don't know if I should put those on there. 
And turns out it's something that I want to do. Uh, let's go ahead and pop that off. Yeah, not enough motors in storage. That's fine. Once you're in range of the Bob, you'll get you'll get added. See, see, oh, see, see, Bob finished you up. Okay, so let's grab that ice. Oh, it's getting dark. We need to do this quickly because I'm not gonna be able to see. Um, ice, ice. Where's the ice? Ice. Let's get the ice on here. Let's go ahead and throw some ice on, and we're going to change its antenna range to six thousand. I think that that'd be more than enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna set this thing gently down. Ah, uh, come on, camera. Cooperate. All right, set it gently down. Cam or dampeners off, and then I'm gonna control that using the base since the base has a little bit more power. I don't want to waste any power on anything. So. We're going to go in here to this small grid. Should have the two cameras. Nope, that's the wrong one. Uh, let's get into the base. Shift K. That small grid has the... What? Really? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Which one of you is the... Do neither of you work? What's up with that, huh? Okay, this one has it. I just need to be here. I really hope it just doesn't hate me in a few minutes. So let's just go camera one. And let's try to get over there and get rid of that base, or at least that big gun on the base. Oh, and I should also add collect all to the connector. Uh, this is, I'm already going though. Am I 200 meters away? I'm 400 meters away, which means I'm using the base antenna. Very good, I'm chasing the sunlight. <laughs> I'm losing light, I need to be able to see what I'm doing. I have the downward facing camera, which is right above the connector. So that's, okay, so I know where that is. I need to slow down though, I think I'm gonna overshoot it. Let's just go slower a little bit. I really hope I just don't get popped out of the sky because I'm I'm creeping into where it wants to pop me out. Okay, uh, let's go, and I'll let go at 100 meters per second. Okay, and we're just gonna slowly try to keep around 80 using this camera. Okay, now we're almost right over it, and I think we're right over it. So let's slow down. Okay, I think we need to start moving around so we don't get hit. So I'm just gonna start pushing different directions here. Hopefully it doesn't just catch on to that. Oh, come on. Get me backwards, you crazy. All right. All right. There we go. I see my shadow. No, no. I think that's just a speck on the camera. <laughs> all right. We're zoomed in. Uh, it's just kind of level here. All right. All right. I don't think it's been noticed. I don't think it's noticed us yet. Okay. That's a good sign. All right. I'm going to get a collect all on here. Uh, collect all. It's off. So let's just go ahead and drop the first thing. All right, that was real quick. It looks like, okay, it looks like it's gonna be dead on. Oh my gosh, am I gonna hit it the first try? All right, I don't need to move over left a little bit. It looks like. Oh, I think I'm gonna miss it just by a just by a hair. Uh, no, I hit it. Okay, so I'll just go so it's more centered. Collect all, throw everything out. Let's get this base squished. Oh, look at them go! Look at all the rocks go! <laughs> oh, is that it? Is that everything? Okay, okay, I'll bring it back. I'll bring it back. I probably come on, come on. We're hitting it. Okay. Ooh, the rocks like bounce each other out of the air. And uh, did it do anything? Let's get a little closer. It's blocking the solar panel. Ha! You can't have light. Sucks to be you, man. <laughs> no light for you. The hamburger helpers come to help you today. I don't know. It kind of looks like a hamburger. I was gonna. I, I think I might, I might call it the Whopper Dropper. That was in my head when I was looking for ice. But, oh, oh, no, that's still working. That's still working. That doesn't like us. Hi, how you doing? No, no, bad, bad. Oh, I'm, I'm, I think I'm running away from the barrel. <laughs> oh, wait, no, no, no. I don't think it can point straight up. As long as I stay above it. Ha. Ha. You suck. Okay. Um, I'm drifting, though. I'm not, like, perfectly level. If I feel like if I leave this bee, it's going to drop out of the sky. <sighs> okay, that keeps scaring me. <laughs> I love how the ground's gone like this height map thing. That's pretty crazy. I didn't know it did that. Because I go down here and it's like, oh yeah, that's a hole, that's not a hole. I don't know if that's an intended feature, but it's amazing. Um, I'm just going to kind of stay away from that. <sighs> the rocks didn't do anything. I was 700 meters up. I don't know how fast those rocks would have been going. I think I need, might need to get a little higher. Or a denser material. But you know what? I don't want this base here and it's kind of bugging me. I have an idea. Okay, um, here's the idea. I exit that really, really quickly. I get into this. I take off. I fly over there, and um, well, I think I think I know what I need to do. I'm just gonna drop the hamburger help hamburger helper. I don't know if I'll call it a hamburger. 
The Whopper Dropper. Oh, I named it. Now I don't want to drop it. I named... Oh, it's it's so high up above the thing. I wonder if I could just crush it with it. I just want to drop the dang thing on there. I'm tired of this base being here. It's an eyesore. I don't want it. I don't want it. I just want to get rid of it. And I don't know what else to do about that. Okay, so let me stay away away from there. And I just kind of want to see what goes on when I when I drop the thing. Because I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna drop it. It's just gonna drop straight onto the base. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not dealing with that base anymore. So let's go ahead and level here. And since there's only a camera on the back of this thing, if I just flip around and zoom this camera in, uh, let's try to level here. There we go. All right, that is what we see. And it is just scouting outpost. Let's just get rid of that. Okay. So I go into the other thing, I control the one that is 1,600 meters away, I get its second camera so I can aim it better, and we'll just drop it. Come on. Oh, there's that other cannon over by the, the solar panel. Oh, it's trying. Oh, you're trying, aren't you? But you're not going to be able to, because you got, got, ah, sucks to be you. Okay. Oh, that was I'm being so mean to this thing, but I'm tired of it existing. Okay, I need to get out here and I need to sort my grinder to the front. Character tools, uh, grinder, and I'm just gonna fly on over this and try to to grind off that part. Should probably approach from this direction since so I don't want to get shot. And we, there's that other big cannon right next to the solar panel. I think it, it has to have a battery somewhere. I just hope it doesn't have one right where it's convenient for it. Uh, like deep within the base or something. Oh, I'm close. I'm close. I'm getting shot at and I'm close. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hi. How you doing? All right. Uh, all right. We're right over it. Oh, oh, okay. It's welding it up. Okay. Whew. Am I still getting shot? No, I'm not. All right. Cool. Let's get it. Hi. How you doing? You want to be ground beef? Oh my gosh. This grinder's so slow. I am just standing on top of this cannon hoping it doesn't. Oh, oh, oh. Hi. Hey, don't shoot yourself, because that will hurt me. I'm just going to back up a little bit. Okay, come on. Come on. Ooh. Okay, it's down. And let's get this battery. There's the battery. That's going to take a little while. Wow, this battery is so full. <laughs> I almost feel bad destroying it. I think it keeps its charge, though. So I might make this my own little base. I'm not sure. But my inventory is full. I'm just going to keep going. Come on. Oh. Come on. And... It's off. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and get the solar panel. Oh, this is tense. My hands are actually a little bit sweaty. <laughs> okay. Okay. It should be... The whole base should be... Okay, the antenna's off. Um, let me... Okay. Oh, yeah. I, I decimated that cannon. Sorry, a little hamburger helper had to, had to die for that. But I, I'm just... This, this base is no longer... No longer going to be a, an issue to me. It's now going to be gone. There's no ores around it, sadly. I'd figured there'd be ores. Okay, let's kind of... Where's that gun at that's always shooting at me? There it is. Hi. Hi, look at look at the back of this ship. It's so so nice and tasty. You want to you wanna shoot at it? Or do you, do you not have any power to? Ha! Oh, oh, am I fixing it? Please don't tell me I'm fixing the dang base. Uh, twin bobs, please uh, grind only. Grind only. Don't, don't break anything or don't fix anything. Okay, so I need to... Set that as my current build color. And, uh, uh, goodbye. Oh, wait, no. I should probably get inside first. I just want to see what's inside. Um, let's go through the window. Um, it's empty. It's pretty empty. I think this is, oh, it's getting ground down already. Wonderful. Ha! Get beat. I defeated you. That wasn't as, as, as intense as I was thinking it would be. It was just very palm sweaty moment. All right. Let's let's color it pink, and 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 shame it. I can't color it. Why can't I color it? I can't color the base. I think I thought I would be able to color it. I think Bob's getting it anyways. All right, the twin Bob. We're just gonna land on it in victory then, huh? I'm just gonna sit on it. And what you gonna do? I'm gonna sit on you. Ha! You sat on. Get get sat on, man. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Let me help the. the okay, so uh, yeah, that. That was really quick. I thought this was going to take a long time to do. I thought it was going to be like a whole ordeal where I was going to drop stuff on it and then like keep having to come back and drop stuff on it. I don't even know if I damaged the cannon dropping stuff on it. 
but I definitely dropped the big thing on it and that got rid of it real quick. So, I don't know, let me get rid of this light. What has the more valuable components? Is there anything valuable in here? Have you found anything valuable, Bobs? Have the Bobs found anything valuable? We have some proficient grinders. Oh, and some, oh, look at all this. <gasps> yes. Okay, that's gonna do me something good. Uh, I think we're filling up on material though. I'll have to come back. But look at all this. Ooh, fun. Okay. Um, I have ice. I'll oh, we'll just throw the ice on the floor. Oh, no, I didn't mean to throw that on the floor. I meant to throw the ice on the floor. Now let me just pick both of these up. <laughs> That's fine. I'll just fill the connector with that. <gasps> Got a nicer grinder. Yes. The, the spoils of, of destroying this little boy. Uh, that was that was such a weird talk. Uh, the spoil. I just destroyed the thing. And it's it's gone now. And I win. <laughs> I mean... All right. Um, what do I do now? I've, I've destroyed it. Oh, look at this stairs. Oh, clever. I didn't know you could put stairs like that. It's like super steep stairs. <sighs> Was that how they're meant to be used? That kind of makes sense, huh? No, in the picture, they're laid flat. And then they're really good at putting the things they want flat flat on the on their pictures. Oh, and it goes into the ground. How clever. How absolutely clever. Oh, oh, and I'm stuck. Okay, come on. Come, come on. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> and then I'm going to get rid of this air vent. Because it's mine now. Goodbye, air vent. It, it grounds down a little bit faster with this. I'm just going to leave all of this stuff on the floor, because why not? All right, and then it has 10,000 ice in it. That's really nice. Can I access it? Well, no, okay. I thought I, I must have hit it right before it was uh, it was done. All right, let me dump everything that I have. This is nice. I I've, I've, I did it. <laughs> we did it but through the... Through the help of pretty much everyone who keeps recommending me stuff, this is how this got destroyed. And now I can move on to, to doing other things, like getting off the planet so I could get rid of the, the lag. But this was like a major obstacle. Uh, let's go and turn the range up on the ore detector, see if I can see anything. Um, ore detector. Let's see what you have see what you have to find. At about two kilowatts of usage, I see nothing. This was just sitting over absolutely nothing. Well, that's fine. I, I don't mind. Uh, inventory, the storage is full. Okay, is the storage full in the entire thing? No, they're not. Okay. Uh, let me go down here and grab the stuff. Yes. <laughs> ah, very peaceful, that is. Okay, now that I can fly wherever I want and not get blowed up. Very fun. Okay, um, is this just armor blocks now? Well, it's this. I could just lop that off, but I don't think it'll... I'm still dampened to this. I, I had this like this whole idea after when I was flying over here. I'm like, I'll jump out and let it fly past me, but I figured that was a good way to get destroyed. So <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. This is nice. This is nice. I'm just watching it get destroyed. I, I'm gonna finish watching it get destroyed, but I think we need to leave. Yeah, this is heavy. This is really heavy. Let's leave now that we're like 600 pounds, <laughs> or exactly 78,630.0. Zero kilograms. <laughs> now that this thing is extra heavy, because it's not, it's not having it. Ah, thank you, little hamburger helper. I forget what I was calling it, that thing. The the whopper of doom. Oh, the whopper dropper. <laughs> the whopper of doom. I don't even like. Uh, I don't even. Uh, it's not my favorite burger. Um, yeah. All right. Anyways, I'm gonna head on over here. Oh, this thing is heavy. It it is slow, and it is still falling, even though I did that. Oh man. Let us not crash this into our own base after we, promptly after we destroyed that one base. Okay, then we're just going to slowly drop. I don't want to do that, do another repeat of, of where things kind of just drop and destroy themselves. But we're just going to slowly drop with this one. Because look, look, I pressed down and I went to like 12 meters per second. So we'll do that. Look at all those, those wind turbines going. In the two different colors, because there's the green ones that I started with, or the green ones that I built recently, and the red ones that I had to start with since I recolored the whole base. Ah, it's beautiful. <laughs> and look, look what's not on the horizon. That ugly antenna mark from the, the thing that I didn't want there. There we go. All right. That, that was an accomplishment within itself. I don't even know how long that took. And I'm, oh, okay. I had to make sure I was still recording there. <laughs> I'm like, did I, did I turn it off? Did, did something go wrong? Because it, it's only appropriate at that moment that something would go wrong. Okay. And we're almost level. There's Bob. So let's line up there. 
zoom out. Yeah, okay. I'm like, why am I so close to the base? I didn't know I was that close to the base. Okay. Uh, this way a little bit. And then straight back. I know we don't get any camera lights. That's not as cool. And I really hope I would have been able to watch it drop onto the base, but I only got the view from... I should have just faced the ship that way. I should have... I would have been able to see it. I should have rec I should have realized that it wouldn't have gone straight into the camera. But, hey, there's... there's This this hardcore world has, has all the bases and stuff, so there will be others. And we can now connect. Ah. And we can finish other projects now that we have so much material. Um... I actually should just start offloading all the material if I can, if the inventory managers will, will, well, I don't even think, the, I think the containers are pretty full. Uh, that one's not that full, that one's holding a lot of ice though. That one's not that full. I should really name these containers, shouldn't I? I should definitely, okay, so this one's now the components container. Component, nope, components, nints, I think I spelled that right. I don't think I did. I really don't think I spelled that right. Oh, I, I might have. I don't know. Components. Yeah, that's how you spell components. Yes, Anyways. Understand. And then this one, uh, ores and ingots. Ingots. There we go. No two Ts. That was just me accidentally tapping the T twice. Uh, yes, I did. Okay, I did spell components right. And did I spell ores and ingots right? Yes, I did. Okay, let me uh, P1 this so it can get the maximum priority so it sucks everything out of the other one. There we go. That's the wrong bracket. That is the wrong bracket. There we go. Curly brackets are ingrained into my fingers. Okay. And we got our com ingots, our components, and we should be good, right? This thing should be kind of empty. This is like just the place that I throw stuff in. All right, good. And this is also empty, right? Yes. There we go. Medium cargo container. Oh, it's not empty. It's protected. I don't know. I don't understand what it means by that, but it's protected. I should unprotect it. I should actually just chuck everything out into the other components one, but I know that one is there. Okay. Let's go components, 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 more components. I should have enabled the internal inventory sorting. I will probably do that. So let's go components. Actually, I just go brackets. The only one with the square bracket P, right? No, there's those protected. Okay, it's P1. Ha. Now I just double click it all in there. Yay! All this material is mine. <laughs> and I have all those big shells now. Wonderful. Okay. Um, let me go finish off the little thing. I think you deserve to see that. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, wow. This thing is nimble when it is empty. And look at all those those meteorites hitting the ground, destroying all the, the beautifulness that is the ground. I think there's one issue now. I can't... I don't, I don't know where it is. I know it's over here somewhere. But... I, See, like, like, I get the feeling like I'm going to get hit, but no, no, I'm fine. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. I'm going to fly right over it and let the bobs take care of that. Uh, whoa, I'm going fast. I'm going really fast. We'll put all that into climbing, and that'll slow us down right quick. And then we should start falling any moment now. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Now we're falling. All right, let's point straight down and fall straight down. How about that? Uh, where is that base at? Or the remnants of it? Oh, there it is. It's over there. All right, we will kind of level there and just kind of fall. All right, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. This this thing really needs some landing gear, doesn't it? Because, I mean, how else am I supposed to land? I'm just going to get steel plates. I think this is just only going to be steel plates, but I want to I do something special. I want to take the grinder and cut the legs off the base because that's always something that I like doing. I just like knocking bases over, but I don't think this is going to fall over. It's not exactly heavy or offset in any sort of way. Oops. Slow down, please. Okay, stay there. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Let's get the bottom off of it. And... you gone. Oh, dang it. <laughs> and... You, you, you have no supports. Oh, it... Oh, yes, there it goes. Ah, and it fell. Okay. That's, that's a, that's a, like, that's, that's like pleasing to me for some reason. <laughs> it's pleasing for me to, to, to make them succumb to gravity. Okay, let's just knock all that into there. I must be holding like a bunch of stuff because my inventory is practically halfway full. Because, yep, whoa, okay, there goes that ice. I don't, I didn't really need that ice. Actually, I really don't need that ice. Uh, what am I holding? Oh, the bottle, the welder. Let's get rid of that. I'm not going to use the welder. I'm probably going to use the bottle though. Uh, let's get in here and see what else can be taken. Let's take all this stuff. Might as well take the rest of the ice. Ice. <laughs> I, I will hold that ice. I won't do anything else with it. 
And let's just dump every oh, it dumped the ice. Dang it. Okay. Well, we'll take those back. <laughs> and we'll watch as Bob gets rid of it for us and we help. I mean, come on. Got to got to do that. And no stairs. No ramps. All gets cut down. Oh, come on. This one as well. The Bobs will pick up the materials, I think. Right? At some point, they will. <laughs> and there's some interior plates just floating there. Gone with you. And with you as well. Oh, me and Bob are getting the same things. <laughs> I don't want this to fall. Oh, look at it roll. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Ah. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so, I mean, what do I do now? I, I, now that I've destroyed this, I, I move on. I still have to go leave the planet so I can delete stuff from it. Probably gonna head to the moon. That's not the moon, that's Mars. That's really far. Moon's a bit closer, it's right there. And while I'm on my way up, I can probably grab some platinum and whatnot. But then this thing won't be useful on the moon, and I'll miss the, the air. So I probably might head to Mars or the alien planet or something. I don't know, that's a long time in the future, but I'm thinking about the future that I'm... Now that I'm... Ooh, ooh, <laughs> about to drop a base on my head. How about that one? Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. So I guess we'll just let we'll let Bob's we'll let the Bob's deal with that. We'll just just kind of stand on here, and and watch as it gets torn down. Ow, or not ow. Ah, I'm falling. Okay. There we. Oh, you know what? Let's get Bob some. Let's get Bob. Let's get this little thing some tips. I haven't even named it yet. Oh, I want to name it something. Um, I don't know what to name you. Name. <laughs> I, I really don't know. Let me know if you have any name suggestions. It's it kind of looks like a I don't know I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> it's something. That's what it is. Um, not not that one. And nab that. And then now it has little has little pointier wings, so they're they're a bit smoother or a little bit a little bit better of a transition in that regard. Oh, and I'm out of hydrogen. Oh, look at the the lid fell off. The roof fell off of it. Ah, okay. I'm just gonna time lapse that. Ooh, that is so sweet. <laughs> it is gone. Now I can go back. I just look at all the materials that I got. Pl I plundered from the base. <laughs> look at this. Well, the ice kind of meh. But I have a ridiculous amount of steel plates. Um, interior plates, sure. Bulletproof glass, why not? Really everything else. I mean, I've, I've had all this stuff before. But, you know, <laughs> I have more of it now. And it's it's better that way. Okay, and I don't have connection with my other base. That's not a good thing. Uh, normal display, and I'm getting nothing? Well, that's not good. Hold on. I don't think they came back after me. I've been kind of standing there. I was picking up my room in the meantime while watching the base get ground down. It took a little while. Well, those lights are on. That has power because of the wind turbine. Um, what's going on over here? I see all the wind turbines running. Oh, is it the antenna being silly again? It's, it's kind of worrying me, actually. I'm just like... Okay, I see the wind turbines going. I don't see the antenna going. The timer blocks are green, which I think means they have power. That or they're just there. They're just always green. Uh, no, I see that display on. I see a battery with a little bit of red, though, so we might be running out of power. No, no, no I think the red's on Bob. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, let's get... Let's get slowed down here. Oh, oh, it's it's welding us up while we're here. Because <laughs> I had it in grind only. So, okay, so we have power. Because Bob is on and getting us all welded up. So, oh, well, let's just actually connect to the base. That's a that's a better better idea. Uh, let's use that other thruster because I'm definitely going the wrong direction. There we go. All right, let's head back here real quick. Use the large thruster. The comically large, not comically large. Feels like a comically large thruster, but it's really, it's it's the only thing that's thrusting this thing forward. It needed to, to. Oh, I just realized that the that the uh, the, the, the pretty much the, the stone drop, the whopper dropper had um, had the same kind of thruster configuration, except with just all small thrusters. Eh, didn't realize that until right now. It's it had the two downward firing ones, the and then the the rest were just kind of directional. Uh, oh, whoa, that sucked us in. Okay, and we're in, and let's our health, our 
my hydrogen was recharging. Then I need to kind of manually do that because I, I must have done something that made them protected. But that's good. I want them to be protected. So I don't want to turn that off because I don't want it to um, me to move everything out and then it suck it all back. So I'll just leave that alone. And then we'll go uh, just on the local grid. So I'm just going to shove everything in there so it can go ahead and sort that for me. Oh, it seemed to also have a... <gasps> Yay, I have a rifle back. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it before. I'm like, I don't know where that thing went. But, hey, now I have another one. And it looks like that's full. Is that full? Did I just... Oh, the cockpit can't transfer those things, I guess. I Oh, I shoved them in the cockpit, but it couldn't, it couldn't take them out because uh, they're the wrong size. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, I should really just be double-clicking these things because now, oh, internally that is ugly. Uh, let me go into the cockpit and take all that stuff out. Hopefully I can just take it out via this. Yes, I can. Uh, that's most everything. Let me get the let me get the rest of this. Uh, wait. Um, let me fly over here and do that. Or walk over here. Wow. Wow. Can't walk much. <laughs> I can't walk much. I, apparently that's a thing. Uh, failing at basic tasks. Okay. Let's chuck all that in there and grab that la those last two steel plates. And then this will be this will be officially empty. Yay! <laughs> Now it's empty. We have all this extra space. We have all this. We have all of this. We have this like, ridiculous surplus of materials. How many steel plates do we have on this base? How many steel plates are here? We have 3,673 steel plates. <laughs> that is quite a few. Um, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. We have so many steel plates. Okay, so I'm going to tell the script that I want it to do the internal cargo container sorting. I do believe there was an issue with that only in multiplayer, I think, I, from kind of scrolling through. So auto crafting, refinery handling, generating, special loadout container, internal item sorting. Okay, uh, let's just go by my name. So I just, okay, so sort items like that. Note, this could cause inventory desync. Yeah. Okay, and we'll enable it. And then we will, okay, wait, wait. AD for descending item amount highest to lowest. So we'll go, so why AD? Why the capital A? Oh, okay, item and then, then in direction, so quantifier in direction. I see, I see, I see, okay. Ah, clever. <laughs> uh, so I might wanna do name and then descending, just so I could, yeah. We'll just do name and then descending. So let me press okay, get that all put in, and then we're gonna go into this cargo container and then it should sort the internal inventory or I could go for amount and descending, so it would just be AD on that one. Uh, let's do that. So let's just gonna shove that in there. AD. All right. And hold on, we'll give it a moment to do things. Oh, it's. I think it's sorting by the other descent. Oh, it's. It's not sorting. The, oh, it is sorting them next to each other though, so that's fine. I'll add them to the piles together. There we are. Saving some extra space. Okay. See, that there's, there's multiple ways that they could have gone about uh, restricting how big a cargo container is. And one of them would be uh, just having like a specific amount of slots as well as the, as the max volume they can hold. So like each slot can be only stuffed with like this many things. But I, I kind of like this implementation better. Actually, I really like this implementation better. And then I think this one should be a small cargo container somewhere should be tools and other stuff. So let me... Ah, we have a surplus of materials. Let's use it to make a small cargo container for really the only reason but to uh, to kind of have tools and stuff in one spot. So, oh, I could use that to make a full-on medical station. Ooh, where would I put that, though? I don't know. Uh, I just, I, I don't know. <laughs> I know where I could put the cargo container, though. Let's just shove it right here in this, in this line. Uh, well, I kind of want to keep things out of there. Uh, let's put it up here. Uh, I can't. I have interior plates. There we go. Now I have interior plates. And then let me dump everything else back into... Oh, there's a small cargo container right there. What am I doing? There we go. Well, I'm going to make that cargo container do the thing then. Uh, cargo container, please. Cargo container. There we are. Okay. There's its access. And we'll make it tools, bottles. Um, I think that's it. Tools, bottles. I think that's, that's what we have on the other one. And it should be filling up, right? Oh wait, well I'll have to make sure I did it right. Hold on a second. It takes it takes it a second to get through, and then once it gets through, I can see if I uh, spelt everything correctly and everything else. And looks like it. Okay, so now this thing should be full of tools and bottles. Well, eventually. How about that? 
and we could give it a priority for tools and bottles? Uh, nah, not really. Let me just take these back out and just kind of stare at it and wonder why, hey, aren't these tools, why aren't these tools going in? Maybe I spelled, maybe I just put tool, like instead of tools. I'm not too sure. I'm not sure if it's a, it's a, uh, what do you call it? A, a like the, the plural version of the noun. Oh, no, no, it's, it's, it's getting, so oh, see, perfect, right there. Didn't even have to, didn't have to do anything. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. I now have a nice grinder, a nice welder. Oh, I have the, the same welder as I always did, but I have a nice grinder. And I'm going to extend that other solar panel so, it, so it's actually kind of the, the same size. Because uh, it's kind of bugging me that it's not the same size. And I think that's interfering with that. Uh, that's kind of creepy. Um, with that wind turbine there, but I don't really care. Uh, so let's get some solar panels. I want to build something like like big to celebrate the victory, but I don't know what to build. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I can build solar panels, but I mean, really solar panels? I was just going to build a cargo container, but that felt really lackluster. And then I also had the cargo container that I needed already. Uh, how far out does it go? It goes two extra. Yeah, that's easily doable. One, a two, a two. There we go. And we would like to put this one here. There we go. One, a two. How about you? Okay. And sweet. So now that's that's all done, and it's just slightly outside of the range, so I think the bob will get to it tomorrow. But let's just throw those in there, and yeah, yeah, let's let's expand Bob's range that way a little bit. Uh, bob, let's show your area, please. And oh, we'll hit a we'll hit a little lag spike there, and then we'll scoot it over that way. Which oh, we have all oh, we have plenty of room in front of the base. I don't know why I'm thinking in my head. Well, just kind of from this angle, which is why I really think. It would be nice for space engineers to have VR, which would be kind of terrible for recording it, but it'd be really cool to play it. Um, if it was like, it, it, I needed better depth information there. I didn't, my, 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 my brain didn't have enough depth information to go, hey, yeah, that's, that's, um, that's totally the front of the base or that's totally like a hundred feet away. But no, it was, it was in reality, just right next or in my mind, it was right next to it, but in reality, it was really far away. So let's maybe not offset that 57 meters. Let's go 29. The solar panel should definitely still be within it. Yeah, okay, I just go maybe like 25. Because I want the solar panels to be in there and not uh, in there at all times, but not uh, so much extra. So let's go 20, 26, I guess. I could just use the control click method, but oh yeah, 26 is just fine. If I wanted to add one more solar panel, we'll be a-OK -okay on that side. Good. All right. So with that wonderful victory, thank you very much, Rodney, for that suggestion. It's going, it, 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 I didn't do exactly what you said, but what you did, what you said led to me just dropping the thing on the base and just wrecking it and taking the bobs and just grinding it all down. Like the original, the original idea for, for like, oh, there's bobs now. Let's just grind the whole base down with it. And now that I have all this extra material, oh, oh I'm going to fall to the ground. Now that I have all this extra material, I could turn the projector back on and get the Viper going again. Cool. So let's get this projector. Uh, one of these. Uh, this one. Nope, not that one. This one. Yeah, that one. Okay. Now that that's going, the Viper can get continued to be built. Actually, no. No, no, I should stop that. Um, just because there's going to be a slight issue when... Uh, I use all of my metal grids again. I'm I'm thinking I'll go ahead and just just mine a little bit more so I could build the the metal grids and so I could take off of the planet. Yeah, that that probably needs to be done. Okay. So Oh, this lovely little thing. I was stood right here watching the whole base get turned. Okay. Okay, that was just exciting cuz it's it's always exciting to win and I didn't even get I think I did get hit a little bit on the the cockpit cuz down here is like exposed. So it probably just just went right in the bottom. But the Bobs sorted that out really quick. Thank you all, and see you next time, engineers.